Tonight, state lawmakers are considering several thousand dollars in salary raises for the heads of different state agencies. Yeah, our Josie Frost was at a subcommittee meeting just a short time ago where two lawmakers recommended raises for 22 different agency heads. She's at the state house with more Josie. The subcommittee that met today recommended pay raises for all but three of the 25 requests from different agency heads. The debate comes from an independent study that found that many of these agency heads are due for a pay increase and South Carolina falls behind other states in comparison. You're not going to be able to keep these employees and, and you know, these you know, good employees in state government unless, unless state government responds to that. Senator Greg Hembry is part of the committee tasked with hearing requests from dozens of state agency heads asking for an increase in their salary. It comes in response to a study from Corn Ferry, a consulting company which spurred lawmakers to increase their salary range for these agencies by 8.5 percent to make South Carolina more competitive for hires. Representative Leon Howard is on the full committee that will approve or deny the subcommittee's requests. A lot of those positions are, are way behind other states and they're underpaid and um, practically 100 percent of our agency is or has a tremendous amount of talent and we don't want to lose them to other states or other agencies and so um, that we want to be able to be at least be fair to our agency heads. Of the 22, out of the 25 agencies that got approval, Senator Hembry says they consider factors like performance, tenure, and how their salary compares to other similar agencies. You know, you're competing with the private sector and you want quality, talented people leading the agencies. You know, you can't, if you do it on the cheap, you're going to get, you know, you're not going to be able to get the best and brightest for South Carolina. The committee did deny one request from an agency head. Hembry says that person has only been at their job for about a year. Two other requests will be handed over to the full committee for further discussion. Reporting at the State House, Josie Frost, News 19, WLTX. All right, thank you, Josie. And a date for the full committee to meet and hear those recommendations has not been set just yet.